Hi, today I'm going to show you how to work with a wooden number puzzle and how to teach your child how to sequence numbers 1 to 9 and also to understand the concept of zero. Today we are going to be using counters. I call these concrete materials or 3D objects. You can use anything that you have at home. The area is now ready for us to start our activity. David, my son, is here to help us. You can start this activity with a child as young as two years old. And as your child progresses, you can add extensions to this activity. I'm going to invite David to work with me today. David is going to sit to my left. I'm going to sit to his right. This assists the child to see the activity presented clearly. Also, we are going to teach left to right progression. We write from left to right. And this is how we teach children to start to understand this concept. David, would you like to work with me today? Yes. To start with our sequencing lesson today, I'm going to start with three numbers. Always invite the child to join you for the lesson. Would you like to learn how to sequence numbers one, two, three? Now I'm going to mix the numbers up. I'm going to start sequencing the numbers from the left corner of the mat. Number one. Number two. Number three. I have chosen to use these block counters to show the quantity of each number. Number one. One. Number two. Two. One. Two. Number three. One. Two. Three. Number one. One. Number two. One. Two. Number three. One. Two. Three. You will notice with each number I trace the number with my finger. This helps your child to learn the formation of numbers through touch, which assists with their muscle memory. I'm now going to invite David to have a turn. David, would you like to have a turn to sequence the numbers? Yes. Number? One. Number? Two. Number? Three. Very good. Number? One. one. Would you like to trace the numbers with your finger? Yes. Number? One. Good. Number? Two. Number? Three. Very good. David, would you like to now take the blocks to put the right number of blocks with each number? Yes. One. One, two. One, two, and three. Very good. Should we count together? Yes. Point to the numbers. One. One. Trace over the number. One. One. Two. Three. One. One. Two. One. Two. Three. One. Two. Three. Your turn. One, one, 
two, one, two, three, one, two, three. Very good. David, would you like to pack the work away? Yes. If you are confident, your child now knows number one, number two, and number three. We can now move on to number four, five, and six. Four, five, six. I'm going to mix the numbers up. Number four. Number five. And number six. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. David, would you like to count with me? Yes. Four. One, One two, two, three, four. four. Five. Would you like to trace over the numbers and count the blocks? Yes. Four. One, two, three, four. Five. One, two, three, four, five. Six. One, two, Three, four, five, six. David, would you like to have a turn to sequence the numbers four, five, and six? Yes. Four, five, and six. Good. One, two, three, and four. Four. One, two, three, four, and five. Five. Would you like to trace over number five? Yes. Five. Good. One, two, three. Four, five, and six. Would you like to trace over number six? Yes. Six. Let's count the numbers again. Trace over number four and count the blocks. Four. One, two, three, four. Five. One, two, three, four, five. Six. One, two, three, four. Four, five, six. Well done. Would you like to pack the numbers and blocks away? Yes. You can now continue with the next three numbers in the same manner. After all the numbers have been completed, you will now ask your child to sequence all the numbers from one to nine. Let's empty the number puzzle and then we're going to turn them over. We're going to place our block puzzle at the top of the mat so we have enough space. Okay, let's turn the pieces over, David. What we're now going to do is David is going to sequence the numbers from 1 
two nine. From the left corner of the mat to the right corner of the mat. I'm going to, to mix the numbers up because David now is going to find the correct number in sequence. I'm going to remove the number zero for now. It is important to always invite your child to work with you. Inviting the child to take part in the activity helps to build independence and also helps them to take ownership of their activity. David, would you like to sequence numbers from number one all the way to number nine? Yes. Okay. Would you like to go first or would you like me to go first? Yes. Okay. Can you find number one? Well done. Okay, you can carry on, David. Five, six, seven, eight, and nine. David, would you like to count the numbers for me? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Very good. David, we are now going to place the objects next to the numbers. For number one, we place one object. For number two, we place two objects and so on. David is now going to add the correct quantity to each number. I'm going to ask David to choose which objects he would like to use. This is a very important in Montessori. Always allow your child to have choices. David, would you like to choose which objects you're going to use? Yes. Which ones? Would you like to use the block counters or the transport objects? I would like to use the transport objects. Okay, well done. So David, we are now going to place the transport objects next to each number. David, I'm going to have a turn, then you're going to have a turn. Okay. Number one. One. Your turn, David. Number two. One. Two. Good. Would you like to do number three? One, two, two, good. Three. Encouragement is always important during this activity. Number four. You can carry on, David. You're doing such a good job. One. Well done. Two. Three and four. Good. Number five. One, two, three, four, and five. Good. Number six. Oops, it seems we've run out of yellow. Which color would you like to use? Purple or orange? Purple. Okay. Wow, David, you did an awesome job. David has sequenced all the numbers correctly from 1 to 9. And he has placed all the objects correctly and sequenced them according to their quantity. David, this is the number? Zero. Zero, very good. How many objects would you put next to zero? You would put no objects. Very good. But now, what happens if I take number one and I put it in front of zero? 
What number does that become? It becomes 10. Very good. So, we've learnt that zero isn't always nothing. Zero holds a place. Now, David, if I take number two and I place it in front of zero, what number does it now become? It becomes 20. 20. Well done. So we have learned that zero isn't always nothing. nothing. Zero holds a place. place. Well done. When you've asked your child to sequence numbers from 1 to 9, and they may have made a mistake, for example, they have put a 7 in front of the 6, instead of correcting your child by saying, no, that's a mistake, ask them questions in order to help them to correct their mistake. This is when learning takes place. We have a control puzzle to assist with this. What you could say is, oh, do you think 7 comes after 5? Well, let's, why don't we check? Count the numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, oh, 6 comes after 5. 6 comes after 5. Asking questions and allowing your child to solve their own problems allows for learning to take place. If David perhaps put the number in the wrong place, allow him to correct his own mistake by using the control of error. Ask questions. Does the, does the number fit into the space? Should we try another space? Does the number fit in the space? Let's try another space. David, try another space. Does it fit? No. Let's try another space. Good boy. Now David has placed the 8 in the correct slot, but just in the wrong direction. Now I'm going to ask David some questions. David, is your puzzle complete? Yes. Okay, let's see if it's complete. Let's feel all, if all the pieces are flat. Would you like to have a turn? Yes. Feel if all the pieces are flat. Oh dear. Do you want to try that piece again? Now rub your hand over your puzzle to see if all the pieces are flat. Is your puzzle complete, David? Yes. Well done. All the pieces are flat. I'm now going to invite David to pack his work away. Why I call it his work is because he takes ownership of his work and his puzzle. Therefore, he is responsible to pack his activity away. David, would you like to pack your puzzle away? Yes. Okay, thank you. Zero, one, two, and nine. David is now going to carry his puzzle with two hands and place it back where it belongs. Well done.